Hiya folks, you're very welcome along to this week's episode of John's Garage. This week I got a call after work to come and see something special. By God folks, we are in for it. So first of all, who called me? Taff from Taff's Valley gave me a call. I said, John, I have something absolutely incredible down here at my valet shop. And I've been doing a professional paint restoration on this. So it's brought into Taff. <sighs> folks, let's just have a look at this, okay? There you have it folks, this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous classic was brought in for what I believe was called a stage two paint restoration. I'll explain what a stage two paint restoration is in a couple of minutes because it had to be explained to me. Look at this absolutely gorgeous Alvis. I think, and I could be wrong, but I think it is a TF21. I'm just gonna zoom out, hopefully it doesn't distort the image too much. But absolutely gorgeous, just soak that up, folks. Now it's a 1966 build with a very, very interesting backstory. Now, for those who don't know, Alvis, British sports car company, founded in 1919 and lasted all the way up to 1967, whereupon it was merged in with Rover and Jag and a few others. And unfortunately, it's hand-built ash frame cars well, I suppose they fell out of fashion, really. But the Alvis was known as the gentleman's car, mainly after World War II, bought by test pilots, believe it or believe it not, from the RAF, and also all, I suppose, all pirate pilots, not pirates. This particular one, love a little vintage sticker. I got a tiger in my tank. Rawr. And just look at those wheels. So folks, those of you wondering what on earth has been done to the paint in this car, look at it, it is like it just left the factory. Now you might be wondering how many of these actually were produced, how many left the factory. There was 106 in total. Now this was brought in, Taft tells me, for a paint correction. So stage two paint correction and a two stage ceramic coat. So there's been a huge amount of work done to this. Now it's not often you see a classic car getting this kind of love and attention. Oh, that is a weighty door. Whoa, just look at the craftsmanship here. Now, of course, this is, as I said, an ash frame. That means the bodywork is hand rolled and hand finished into position. And look at those seats. So sorry if the camera is a little wobblier today, folks. I unfortunately don't have my gyro with me. Look at that veneer and the dashboard. Beautiful Art Deco finish to the center console. Great big clock, five speed. If I'm not mistaken, 150 or 160 horsepower and capable of zero to 60 in under 10 seconds. Look at that absolutely gorgeous letter. If I'm not mistaken, it's Conley letter, but I could be wrong. I, am, I have to admit folks, I am not an Alvis expert. Nice little sticker there in the front saying 106, 100 years of Alvis, excuse me. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that is a weighty door. You wouldn't want to catch your fingers in that. Huge big bonnet. And of course, stacked headlamps up front. Absolutely, I can't get over the paintwork. Now, you might be wondering, what does a ceramic coating do? Well, it protects the paint, but before the ceramic coat goes on, because it seals the paint, all paint has to be corrected. So any swirl marks, anything like that, any little flaws, little imperfections are hand polished out of it. That's what Taff has spent the last, I think if I'm not mistaken, this takes three, two days to get to this stage. And that inc includes all the work done on it and time for the ceramic coating to cure. Okay, so we got the bonnet of the Alvis open. Let's have a little look at what's going on underneath here. So, three liter, straight six, triple SU carbs over here on the right hand side of the engine. Also the manifold right here and right up here at the front. Great big brass radiator. Absolutely massive engine in fairness. NGK spark plugs and spark plug wires, spark plug leads, great big heater box at the back, and I suppose some room, 
pretty good access if you're going working on some of the engine. Maybe not if you have to get down too deep, but a really, really big block. Three liter straight six, absolutely incredible. Now I know that the owner of this car uses it incredibly regularly all year round. And I know very, very recently they had it out at the gentleman drive, at the gentleman, distinguished gentleman's drive, if I can get my, my words correct. And of course the Alvis Car Club. I believe the owner has told me they've reduced the average age by oh, maybe 50 years. So yeah, that's right folks, this is a young owner. Is a young owner of this car. Okay, so you might be wondering how on earth do you get a paint finish like that? What in art is ceramic coating? And what on earth is paint, well, a stage two paint restoration? Because I'm not gonna lie to you folks, I was, I didn't know what that was. So, first of all, Taff would have gotten his heavy cut cutting compound. Now he tells me this particular one is a cut of 10 out of 10 and a gloss of seven out of 10. Now, that is water-based, silicone and filler-free, so that is important to ensure your longevity of it. Uses a wool polishing pad, and then, so that does the heavy work, but then you wanna get a finer polish and gloss to it, which is where this one comes in. Again, water-based, silicone and filler-free. This is a cut of five out of 10, so it's not as heavy duty as this one in terms of cutting, but it improves the gloss. This is a 10 out of 10 gloss, and I just noticed here, it's made in Germany. That means you know it's good, folks. And of course, slightly different polishing pad for that because you can't use the same one for the, for the process to make sure that you get as good as possible out of it. Now, Taff has told me that he's then gone on and used this. This is a Pro 60 ceramic coating. That lasts up to five years on the car. And then there's also a boost which will be applied to the car every 12 months, which will help the longevity of the ceramic coating. Now, if you wish to get this particular one, and you wish to put it on at home, well, you gotta be accredited, okay? Which means you have to come to TAF and be trained in how to do it properly. But he does have other ones which are available from the EO2 uh, range of products, okay? The Boost course is available to everyone as well. And along with that, also has the microfiber cloth set to help you put it on and to maintain and keep your car as absolutely gorgeous as that one. Holy moly, folks. Well, listen, I'm absolutely delighted that I got invited to this really cool little workshop. Really, really happy that we got to see this particular Alvis. Very, very rare car. As I said, only 80 ever produced. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed learning what a stage two paint correction is. And finally, before I go, if you want any of this stuff or you want your classic to look like this and get Taff to do it, give Taff a contact at his Facebook page, Taff's Valleying. And that's it. All right, thank you very much, folks. Bye-bye.